looking for this one, but family. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I found this one, and they want the Jimmy D, but they want they want it hot. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's get this one. Yeah. there was a bee in here but i think i got it out i hope <gasps> okay that was a little scary okay on the way to uh mcdonald's to get the order <laughs> okay um so i wanted to talk about uh shop and pay orders because yesterday i picked up a it was like eight miles for eleven dollar um Albertson's, Albertson's order. And what it ended up being was the house, or the apartment ended up being like right next to the store, but where I was, I was a little further away, but it was okay. So anyways, we got the order, we got the order and we shopped for it, me and my son. And uh, the guy was very nice. He lived in an apartment, gave great directions, even met me outside, even though it was leave at the door. And he, you know, I thanked him. I asked him, does he need help bringing this stuff upstairs? It was only a couple items. He said, nah, I got it. I leave and I see, I get a call and it's in Chicago. So of course I just ignore it. I'm like, well, I'm never in Chicago. And then they call again and I'm like, you know what? I think that's a customer. Called up, I answer the phone and he's like, hey, you know, you guys forgot my bell pepper and my chocolate cake. And I was like right down the street and I looked in the back and I see, sure it's not there. He said, yeah, I'm positive. Wasn't there, had to, had to unassign from another Uber Eats order went back to Albertsons. Luckily, they had the item already there waiting for me. And luckily, the like I said, the house or the apartment was right next door to the store. So anyways, um, I knocked on the door and I handed it to him and he was very nice. And I said, I'm really sorry. He said, not a problem. But like an hour or so later, actually it was Uber Eats. It was not DoorDash, it was Uber Eats. If I mentioned that before. Anyways, the customer ended up adding or maybe they had the tip but i thought oh for sure he's gonna take his tip away but from eleven dollars to sixteen dollars and again it was just right it was just right next door so tell me about your shop and pay experience do you uh do them do you decline them what have been some of your best experience what have been some of your worst experience i could tell you definitely some really bad experiences so anyways i am now heading to mcdonald's to get the customer the order and then i'm gonna backtrack and go back this way i believe although i could be wrong so okay mcdonald's let's go hello i have a pickup the last year's f44 i think i see it right there Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, Taco Bell. These are both, actually I'll tell these orders are on DoorDash, so. And it's kind of a big order, so I don't think it's going to be ready. But. Dropped off that 
Taco Bell order and luckily the back gate was open so and the back gates here apartments right here so didn't have to go through the hassle of you know looking at the map and what have you so that was fine it wasn't the best order but you know what it is what it is we're just gonna keep moving and now I have a double stacked order at egg works so we're gonna also on DoorDash all of this all of these orders have been on DoorDash so we're just gonna stick with it because I scheduled myself from 8 30 to 9 and then again from maybe 9 uh, nine to 10 or something like that. So heading over to the customer. Nope. Nope. Heading over to the restaurant right now. And then off to the customer, but I did want to show you guys how absolutely beautiful it's been in Nevada, the Las Vegas area. It snowed a couple days ago and the mountains are just incredible. So let me show you guys. That's how the mountains have looked lately and it is absolutely incredible it is so beautiful snow looks like it is melting but i don't know maybe later i'll take a trip over to mount charleston and maybe just gonna look at the snow so okay let's go get okay, so here at the pickup and no orders are ready so hopefully not too much longer <laughs> I hit 50% acceptance on DoorDash. Obviously, I'm doing that because I'm in a diamond, well, I'll tell you, I'm in a diamond zone, high paying, high paying order. Uh, I did it before where I had the opportunity to reset and when it came to that last order, I couldn't, I didn't take it, went down to zero. Anyways, so, I just want to see I'm at 50% now yeah I had to take some pretty bad orders but that's just part of it uh, again I just want to see if I get better paying orders I I'm not on DoorDash now because I was lucky enough to get those schedules so I'm gonna hit Uber Eats log on to that and possibly see if I can do some shipped orders too so okay uh, let's go get to a location where I can turn on that app and then I will see you when I am on my first Uber Eats order. First order on getting up to 50% wasn't the best. 450 for two miles. It's at Starbucks. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ellen and I deliver in the Las Vegas and Henderson and Green Valley area in Nevada. So if you're new, hit that like, share and subscribe and keep watching and let's go drop off this Starbucks order. Here we go. I was hoping that order would have been a hidden tip because sometimes 750 is a hidden tip. But the funny thing was it was 550 DoorDash and only $2 customer tip. So interesting, interesting when that happens. Um, I know way back when, I can't even remember exactly when it was, DoorDash did say if it's a higher mile order, you will get a higher base pay. So, and it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, what do you call it, P uh, peak pay? There wasn't any peak pay, it was just base pay and customer tip. At least I don't think there was peak pay, so. 
dropped it off. I am on the road to get my son because he is going to drive and I can focus more on accepting and uh, maybe declining orders. So we're paused right now and my plan is to stay on DoorDash until 1230 and then if I can and then head out on to Uber Uber Eats because I am trying to get my acceptance rate up. I I don't I'm not really sure if I'm seeing any difference, but I just hey why that why not? So yeah, I am accepting orders that aren't always so great. But let's just see if my acceptance rate goes up if I do happen to get better orders. But what I do is an hour before I need to be home, I log off of DoorDash. Just because I don't want to run the risk of going through all of these orders and picking up not the best and you know what have you to accidentally stay online and pick up an order that takes me way farther than I need to be. So that is what I'm going to do. So we're going to get my kid and then go pick up and then I'll go back on door dash. So, okay. Okay, so the next order is Target. One mile, $5, one item. Okay, let's head to the store. Okay, so my stuff is out, already out. I think it's, no, it's this way. This is groceries. It's gonna be this way. six dollars for two miles so okay and we're right in the parking so that's always good let's see if this one's the order hi you get for liz liz yeah on uh uber eats thank you so much all right rubio's for the next pickup now I am headed over to Vons because I'm actually going to be doing a, a shipped order. It was like $7. I don't know the miles, but I know like, you know, between the zip cut and it's pretty close to the grocery store. So we're going to head over to Vons and get our shopping for the customer. It's 307. So I wasn't getting anything on DoorDash and nothing really on Uber Eats either. So 
Let's head to lunch. So literally everything here was on the top shelf and I am not even five foot. So luckily, nice enough, there was a lady there who was maybe just taking interest out of me. She helped me get all those sodas. So, and she told me she was a personal shopper, but I guess just for her neighbor. Okay, I'm here for I am in the passenger seat again and I am on my way to CVS to pick up a I think it was $15 for six miles and it was only like three items. So um, we are headed over to CVS and it is very bright. So let's go to CVS for this DoorDash order. And it's at high priority. So I think 15 for six is pretty good. Picked up a Uber Eats order for Blaze Pizza. It was $9, three miles. So, and the order is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up and then, you know, drop it off the customer. I'm gonna call it a night. I made just about $80, so I'll probably go out again a little bit later tonight, but I hope you guys have a great night. And if you're new, hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.